Most motorists were still on the fuel queue till early hours of Christmas Day as many filling stations did not sell petrol and the few that sold did so at exorbitant prices. This is despite the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation repeatedly assuring Nigerians that it is distributing more than enough petrol for local use. On Friday, the NNPC said it had increased daily volume of fuel supply from the usual 35 million liters to about 80 million liters. But the efforts appear inadequate to translate into any significant solution at the filling stations, thus forcing most Christians to abandon their church services to queue for petrol. As a fuel crisis worsened, many Nigerians accustomed to traveling to their home states for Christmas were stranded at motor parks as they could either afford the almost 100% increase in transport fares or had to cancel for lack of transportation. It will restrict movement because some persons will not want to pay uh, much just to move from one place to another. Maybe somewhere you used to go to you pay 300 before you pay 300 and now maybe they added 200, it's now 500. So some persons may not want to pay that amount so it restricts movement. And then uh, those that have vehicles also, they may not be able to use it. Nigerians now wait to see how the efforts of the president and the NMPC translate into visible reality and for long queues to disappear from filling stations. Aminu Jilek Rumpao, 2 News.